Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Type 16 FPS. This is a currently Tier 6 8.7 BR wheeled light tank for the Japanese ground tech tree. This vehicle currently comes in a pack that includes the FPS, 15 days of premium time, and 2,000 Golden Eagles, all for the current price of $59.99 USD. In this video, I'll be going over everything that you need to know about this vehicle, including its stats, how it plays, I'll go over its strengths and weaknesses, I'll give it some scores in several key areas, and then I'll give my final recommendation uh, if I feel that this vehicle is worth purchasing or not. With that said, if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing to my channel. But without further ado, let's get into it. As always, to start, I'll place the stat card here on the side of the screen. Important things to note are the FPS's speed, lack of armor, and visibility rating. Now for how it plays. In short, the Type 16 FPS can be summed up by saying that it excels in its roles as a scout, sniper, flanker, and occasional base capper. It is incredibly fast and while it does not have the highest top speed of similar BR wheeled vehicles, it does have likely the best acceleration and by a decent enough margin. This means that you can reach high speeds faster and more reliably than most other similar vehicles. Combined with this speed are the excellent 105mm JSW cannon, 3rd gen thermals for the gunner and commander, and up to 13.3 times zoom for the gunner, all of which will help to create an excellent sniper in the FPS. That means that you can quickly reach points of interest such as a flame or some cover and pick off enemies en masse with easy identification via third gen thermals. As a plus, you can also scout your enemies, which will be of tremendous help to your team. But should you crave more direct action, the FPS will typically fare much worse, as it has minimal armor, only being able to withstand up to HMGs around the majority of the hull, with anything larger being able to easily destroy or severely damage it. But if you can avoid this sort of brawling gameplay, the Type 16 FPS will excel at riding the sides of the map and destroying hapless enemies, all while capping bases when it's safe to do so. When adhering to this style of gameplay, the Type 16 FPS is as good as, if not better than, almost every other vehicle in this BR bracket. Now with that said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses. And first for its strengths. The FPS is very fast, owing to its good power to weight ratio of 22 horsepower per ton and of course its wheel design. For its second strength, speaking of, it has an excellent reverse speed at 36 km per hour max. Third, it has Gen 3 thermals for both the gunner and commander. Fourth, it has excellent zoom for the gunner's optics of between 4 times and up to 133 times zoom. For its fifth strength, it features an HMG mounted on top of the turret, which will help to damage and destroy lightly armored vehicles and aircraft. For its sixth strength, it has a scout UAV. Seventh, it has a laser warning system. For its eighth strength, it features a front-mounted engine, which will help to stop things like auto cannons and long-range shots. And finally, it features premium RP and SL bonuses. Now for the FPS's weakness. Because it is wheeled, the FPS is not very fast or maneuverable off-road, especially in mud and snow. Second, it has poor armor that can be penned by anything larger than a standard HMG. For its third weakness, while not terrible, the FPS has a middling turret traverse speed that will sometimes struggle to keep up with the speed at which the vehicle itself is moving. Still, it is noticeably better than the VRCC's turret traverse. For its fourth weakness, the stabilizer stops working beyond on 75 kilometers per hour, which can happen quite easily, especially on downslopes and paved roads. And finally, the FPS has a relatively high visibility rating of 112%, which is much higher than the 84% on both the Ruocat 105 and VRCC. Now with that said, let's get into how I score this vehicle. For armament, I give the Type 16 FPS a 7.5 out of 10. While it is certainly effective, the 105mm JSW cannon mixed with its top APF SDS shell, the M730 is only very good instead of really great. Comparable wheeled premiums such as the Rocat 105 and BRCC have access to the DM33 shells, of which have about 50mm more armor pen at max compared to the M735. Those, however, are outliers and are also of higher BR. Regardless, over 350mm of armor pen by the M735 at 8.7 BR is still very good and should not be discounted. Otherwise, the Type 16 FBS also features excellent gunner sights, excellent third gen thermals, and an HMG, which round this vehicle out to be extremely effective at what it does, thus receiving the very high score of 7.5 out of 10. Now for mobility, I give it a 9.25 out of 10. Between the FPS, the Rocat 105, and the VRCC, the Type 16 FPS has the best power to weight ratio. Best max horsepower RPM at 2100 RPM versus 2400 RPM for the other two vehicles, and best overall maneuverability. Despite 
Despite the fact that the top speed of the FPS is less than other wheeled vehicles, it's still superior acceleration compared to those vehicles. Even when comparing the FPS to all other vehicles, premium or otherwise, it is still extremely fast and capable. While not perfect in this regard, as the FPS suffers in poor road conditions or off-road conditions, it is still fast enough to best nearly every vehicle in War Thunder in terms of mobility, and that is saying something. Now for survivability, I give the Type 16 FPS a 2.75 out of 10. Like essentially every other wheel vehicle in game, the Type 16 FPS has next to no armor. While it can withstand frontal hits from HMGs, side and rear hits will occasionally pen and deal tremendous damage. Otherwise, the FPS will easily be killed by every type of gun in game, from larger caliber MBT cannons, to strafing runs from flanes, to auto cannons. Regardless, it isn't a complete flop in the survivability category, as it has smoke grenades, smoke shells, and them, though still useful, internal armor that helps protect crew from lighter damage and shrapnel. Additionally, the FPS has armor so thin that occasionally, shells sometimes overpen it. It also has a front-mounted engine that helps to stop smaller shells, and the interior is fairly large which helps to mitigate damage, even though the interior is somewhat cramped in the turret. Oh, and the FPS also features a laser warning system, which can help to determine when to make a run for it. Still, do not expect to survive a fight with this vehicle unless you are stealthy, shoot first, are good on the flanks, or preferably a combination of all of these things. Now, with that said, overall, I give the Type 16 FPS a 7.25 out of 10. In my opinion, and to my surprise, I feel that the Type 16 FPS is possibly the best of the premium wheeled light tanks at and around this BR. It combines best-in-class mobility with very good firepower, as well as some surprising features that enhance survivability, such as the aforementioned laser warning system and 8mm thick of internal armor, which is actually quite good for a wheeled vehicle. While not perfect, of course, the Type 16 FPS is a very capable vehicle for the roles in which it fills, and should be a great vehicle for anyone considering grinding the Japanese ground tech tree. But with all that said, do I recommend purchase of this vehicle? While I always feel like I have to put a disclaimer that $60 is a lot to spend on a digital vehicle, I will say that the Type 16 FPS is, in my opinion, as good as or better than both the Rio Cap 105 and VRCC Centauro, both vehicles of which I have reviewed and love thoroughly. The FPS is faster than those vehicles, despite having a lower top speed. What I mean is that it will oftentimes reach, for example, 80 plus kilometers per hour, whereas the other two aforementioned vehicles will reach that speed with less frequency than the FPS. But I've essentially said everything that I can about this vehicle. So yes, I both recommend this vehicle for purchase and give it my Tankenstein seal of approval, at least so far as you don't mind purchasing, again, a $60 digital vehicle. If you are a fan of light tanks, scouts, snipers, and flankers, the Type 16 FPS may be your ideal premium vehicle. It is so good that it took me by surprise. I thought that the F4S would be the top premium pack vehicle of the Sky Guardians update, but I was wrong. For as good as the F4S is, the Type 16 FPS is the real deal. This is a great light tank. Now with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys thought about this video and of the Type 16 FPS in the comments below. Also, please consider liking this video and subscribing if you'd like more content like this in the future. But either way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.